and the next command that we're gonna work on is point here it is single point and multiple points let me click and drag the dockable window and then place it here then we're gonna cover points here we got the single point as you can see and the next one is the multiple points which gives you access to place or add multiple points but what is the application of the points what are they used for actually they are very practical and effective in the process of modeling let me give you an example but note that you don't have to work on these examples like sketching a circle i mean as you know you haven't learned some of the examples yet i just want to expose you with these commands i mean we will learn these later so don't worry for example here we got a circle then i place or add a point there by this way in the perspective view i can move it upwards and then i can loft these loft enter check this out this is the result or for example we can have two points let's check it out then you will see the points offer us too many capabilities look here we got a sphere here if i turn on the record history i just want to watch this and take your time since we will learn all of these later after making a loft then if i move the point i can modify the shape of the loft check this out we can control it so we are free to change it and all i wanted to say that the points are very important and are very effective in the process of modeling so please watch this part carefully so this was one of the applications of points in the process of modeling as you witnessed it shows that points are involving in the process of modeling they are practical but one of the most important of them is drive curve by length shall i divide that by using this command we can divide a line or a curve by points let's check it out in, an, in the following example at first let me sketch a single line for example 50 meters as the length of the line or curve actually in rhino and a straight curve a 50 meters straight line here in divide curve by length i left click to pick the command or the tool then i should specify the curve to divide here it is i press enter then we should specify the length of segments and as you can see on the scene the direction of the arrows shows the direction of the division if i specify 20 it starts from the left left side to right and it divides the line at each 20 meters again i specify the curve by this way enter and then i can flip the direction if i click on it i can flip the direction then the start point that the division at that the dividing point will be changed then I type 20 for the length of division. The then it starts dividing the line from right to left. Well done. But in the enclosed curves, the divisions will be start from the point that you have finished the sketch. Here in the current circle, divide curve by length. Then I specify the curve, selecting the enter. Then as you can see the arrow, this is the start point of the division or where we have finish this sketched and we are not allowed to flip the direction i press enter then i can specify the length the length of segments 10 enter then as you can see the division is sorted from the specified point but here you may ask how do we can modify the start point actually we can modify the start point before that we should cancel the divide curve by length command so we do it by using curve seam i search for it in the command line here there is curve seam then we should specify the closed curve for seam adjustment enter then by click and drag before dividing the circle we can adjust the seam wherever we want even we can flip the direction as you can see and then after adjusting the seam and the direction enter so all in all in the enclosed curves the division are started from the seam if i sketch a circle then in divide curve by length left click i specify the enclosed curve to divide then enter after after pressing enter we can see the seam point 
that the division is going to be started but right now we can't modify it in the command of divide curve by length but we can flip the direction by just a click as you can see but we cannot modify the position of the seam so we have to specify the length of the uh, I mean the segments 10 and as you can see the division of the segments is start from the seam or I can flip the direction I press enter then I specify the length of the segments enter as you can see the direction is changed by this way but about the question of the modification of the position of the seam can we modify it of course we can but divide curve by length command does not allow us that as i told you before we should specify a separate command for specifying or adjusting the seam in the enclosed curves that the command was curve seam i type crv seam here it is crv seam so i activate the command then i should specify the closed curve for seam adjustment then i press enter when it was done here is the seam point i can select it then by click and drag i adjust the new position here even you can uh, flip the direction however you can flip the direction in the divide curve by length command 2 so for the seam adjustment i type crv seam in the command line then i specify the closed curve for seam adjustment then by click and drag you can adjust your seam or the seam of the circle actually and then press enter when it was done then again divide curve by length i specify the curve or the closed curve enter right now as you can see this is the new position of the seam since we have modified it we can flip the direction too as you can see then i specify the segment length and then enter very well let's talk about the points and techniques here i specify the curve or the line enter well done as i told you you can enter the segment's length and then the curve will be divided by the points as you can see at the specified length but we can move the line separately as you can see i mean they are not joined the points are just overlapping the line but what about the options here here we got mark ends if i specify no for the mark ends it does not mark the end and the start points but we will have the middle points as you can see that we usually specify yes or choose yes for the mark ends and the next one is group output i mean the created points i mean it groups the created points since sometimes we may have too many points so it engroups the points and we can select the all of the points by a click so if we specify group output yes then we can select the group the group of points as you can see then we can make some changes on them but the um, significant op option here is split as you can see that here if i specify yes for split and then i specify 10 for the segment length as you can see there are no points there but the line is splitted at the specified length of segments and each of the parts are 10 meters as you can see so when we specify yes for split option the points won't be added but they will split the line in the continuation let's check the application of the divide in the closed curves and by using a split i specify the curve enter but note that here there is a different point when divide curve by number of segments that here at the first stage we should specify the seam point i mean we weren't allowed to adjust the seam point in divide curve by length but here in divide curve by the number of the segments we can that as you can see we can drag the seam point to adjust it but what it is used for i mean i mean why should we specify the seam point i place it here and then i press enter six points as you can see the division is is, is started from the seam point this time i wanna change the position of the seam point or adjust the new position for it here for example enter six parts enter so in the command of divide curve by the 
number of the segments we can adjust the place of the seam point and then you will see that the division is started from the position that you have specified for the seam point so guys don't forget to practice the given lessons today then as an assignment i want to assign you a curve or an object and i want you to divide it by using divide curve by length and by the number of the segments here it is it is something like a column it has three sides as you can see here we got the top view and also the front view and the perspective view i want you to work on these as your assignment but before that don't forget to practice and then after being skilled at you can sketch these and then divide it and please do not skip your process of learning these stages should be passed by you and in the next session we will talk about it be lucky see you next time <music>